This is Red Feather from Grepax once again. In this video, we will be showing you how to clean the Xbox 360. The Xbox 360 has taken a, has been taken apart to where the last video left off called Xbox 360 preliminary cleaning. So if you need to know how to take apart the whole Xbox 360, please start there. All the screws holding this part together are the same size on the Xbox 360. So if you remove a shorter one, just put it back. There are a total of five screws. After removing those five screws, this step in taking the Xbox 360 is to remove the eject button using a small flathead screwdriver. Pry upward gently, moving it off the plastic nub. Once you have done this, it is time to remove the bottom of cover of the Xbox 1st remove the CD drive. There is a piece of tape that holds the CD drive on this Xbox 360. Be careful not to destroy it. You will need it for reassembly, so peel it back and then remove the CD drive. Unplug the two wires connecting to the Xbox 360. The black wire is a little tougher. So you can use a small flathead, flathead to pry it away. I was actually surprised. I expected a lot more dust in this Xbox 360 than seems to be present. Now it is time to remove the air horn from the fan shroud and heat sink. Be careful, I almost lost this white tab on the Xbox 360. Uh, then gently take a paintbrush, <coughs> knocking away all the loose debris. A can of air would have, would have, a can of air would do a better job. Sometimes cans of air or even using a compressor can spit out moisture. So if you use one of those to clean your Xbox 360, give it time to dry just in case. Make sure to clean your working surface after cleaning the Xbox 360 so as not to recontaminate the Xbox 360 with that old dust and debris while putting it back together. It takes time to clean any device so have time set aside no matter what the device. Show the Xbox or the devices the love they deserve and clean them right.
it is time to take a, uh, take apart the CD drive of the Xbox 360. There are four screws for for this and another Xbox warranty seal that must be cut. There's my Modern Warfare 3 CD I left in, in this Xbox 360 drive. See the magnets on the bottom panel? Probably meant to collect iron and metal fragments contained in dust. I used these swabs and some alcohol to clean the dust and particles from this Xbox 360. Be careful when cleaning the bottom panel. The attached heat shield is only held on by plastic nubs. If you pry on the heat shield, those nubs will break, leaving you to maybe have to glue it on or something. Not being able to get behind the, the heat shield on this Xbox 360, I brought out in the vacuum, as well as using the alcohol and other small tools to help remove the dust particles. Back the, uh, together is the reverse operation for this Xbox 360, but take note of the plastic nubs when placing the CD drive back together. Take your time on the fans. If your system is dusty, there will be a lot here on the Xbox 360 or any other device. Remember, <clears throat> remember that tape. Well, don't forget to retape in order to hold the CD drive on this Xbox 360. First putting in your air horn, then placing your eject button back on, on and testing.
While placing the bottom cover on this Xbox 360, use a rotation similar to putting on a tire so as to bring the cover evenly but not over tightening. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe, and by all means, visit our website at htpgrepax.com. The intro and outro of this video was provided by Alex Abayu1 from his YouTube channel. Have a nice day.